Today I'm really excited because we're going to be unboxing a DIY air purifier. Now we've tested the CR box, the Corsi Rosenhol box. This is the first DIY kit that we've got and it uses PC fans. So after showing you what's in this box, we'll also look at the fans that are recommended to go with the device. This device is called the New Kit from Tempest. You can buy it at the Cyber Night Market. It's $179.99. Uh, it's currently available in US warehouses and European warehouses. And as soon as we got a chance, we reached out to the founder. She kindly offered to send one for free, but we'd prefer to just put, pay for it to avoid any kind of biases or anything so we can really just exactly say what we think of it. Uh, but we're really excited. We think that this could be a, a new innovative uh, invention really to help more people get access to clean air. So now, one thing to be aware of, this is when you buy the device, it will just have the kit. So you do need to build it yourself. It's not like a air purifier where you can just get it going straight away. Uh, and they have recommendations on the filters and the fans that you need to get with it. And we'll, I, we've bought them already, so we're going to be doing that. So let's have a look straight away what's inside. Really well packed up. We have the main unit, I assume, where the, the fan section will add to. Really feels like nice, uh, high quality cutting, no sharp edges. Uh, really impressed by that. We have all the kit and bits of pieces that we're going to be using. Um, now we're not the handiest person, so it's going to be a, a test to, <laughs> to try it. But I know that plenty of people on Twitter, or as it's known, X, has, have done this. Uh, people like David Elstrom have tested it and seen it perform really well. There's the other side. It kind of feels similar to a PC case, uh, and I suppose that's where the idea was, is having a, a case that could use the same fans that run fairly uh, with low levels of sound, but in a way that can, not to run games, but to actually clean the air in your home, so. And the hope is that these devices will alleviate the main problem that we have with air purifiers, which is that they, some of them, especially the larger ones, can run really loud. So it's unlikely that people are going to use them, uh, especially in settings like classrooms or any, any situation where, you know, something that's running at 60, 60 decibels is just going to get in the way of, of thinking or even just talking to each other. Whereas a device like this, in theory, could be cleaning the air without making excessive noise and most people aren't even going to know that it's running. So again, really nice uh, instructions on here. We've got the up. So, so this is the, I assume, the kind of protection that will protect the fans, uh, but we'll find out. Uh, and then we have, that's it. So, oh, the next step for me will be to watch some videos, find out how all the parts put together, and then you can come along and, and watch for yourself to see how easy it is. Uh, so the next video is gonna be looking at all the parts that you're gonna need to use the new kit Tempest. So the first thing is filters. This can be challenging dep depending on where you live. I know in Europe, uh, HVAC filters are not very common. Uh, we managed to source them from SnapClick. Uh, in the US, it should be fairly easy. Uh, they recommend like a MERV 13 filters. We weren't able to get the, the brand that was recommended, but we were able to get one that was kind of a secondary one that would be good enough. Uh, so these are the filter by MERV 13 filters, and these are these are really common to get if you're in and out. In difference to say the Corsi Rosenhol box, um, you're actually going to be looking at uh, filters that are two inches uh, in, in diameter. Uh, at least when I built my Corsi, I just used one inch. I think that was correct. Uh, as with all filters, they come in the packaging. Obviously, you probably if you're building your own DIY air purifier, you know that. You're not going to put it in the plastic, so I'm not too concerned there. And these are going to go on both sides of it. Uh, so that's those. And you also need fans. So these were the recommended fans, the, the ones that these are PC fans. You need a total of five. Now, I was able to get a packet of four, which keeps the price a little bit lower then I had to get a separate uh, one. And these are the, the ones that were recommended on their web website from Arctic. Uh, they run 
they say silent, but you know, we're, I'm sure it's going to be sound less than silent, but we will test that. Uh, we're going to be building this device. So these are all the, these are all the fans that we're going to be using uh, and we're going to be installing it uh, and then testing this DIY air purifier like we test all of the air purifiers that we've done, I think 72 different devices that we've tested to date and comparing it both on sound, energy usage and how effective it is at removing particles. There are also some other things that we were recommended to purchase. Uh, this one is the power supply, just a standard uh, AC adapter, uh, which which is this, it's fairly cheap. You can find it on Amazon. Uh, so we're gonna that's going to use to to power the fans. Uh, and then this is especially important, I think, especially when you have kids, uh, is the protectors of the fan. So no one's going to be getting their fingers in. Uh, it keeps. It's like it acts like a pre-filter in a way. It won't uh, mean that large particles can get in and, and damage the fans. And then this, I believe, is the cables. Let's have a look. Oh, these are HDMI cables that are not part of the kit, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> now we're going to be putting a tutorial of how to build it. So hopefully that'll be super useful especially if you're like me and you're not the best at building stuff. Uh, but that's with these pieces, you'll be able to build the new kit Tempest and have a potentially really quiet air cleaner that performs better than devices that you can buy on the market. So we're going to be doing a quick guide to putting together the new kit Tempest, because if you've not built a PC before, you might find it a little tricky. I haven't done it in many years and it yeah, took my head a, a bit to get around it. But the guide on the website has step-by-step -step amazing guide so you will get through it it just might take you a little bit more time but hopefully our little video will help too so one of the first steps is to just add the feet these are going to mean that it doesn't scratch on the floor and these are just going to be added to the to each corner so the four holes on the bottom are for screws but we just want to put these rubber pieces just into into the holes uh, and push them all the way through. So I'll just do each one of those now. And then that will look like that. Uh, next we have this little rubber piece that we're just gonna push into this hole. It should just securely fit there. Now we've got the power connector. So we're gonna feed that through. have to firmly push it in. So you do have to push quite hard, but once it's in, it's in. Uh, and this is the back piece. And you'll see that there's a, a, a part that says up, and, and then this will be the, the bottom. Now the next bit is adding the fans and the fan guards. Now. Just because we've got really small children in the house, we went for these fan guards, which offer a little bit more protection, but they may restrict airflow. So that's something to be aware of just, just looking at it. We will test that and see if that is the case. But if you don't have small kids, you can probably get away with the, the more standard uh, protection. So on here, uh, we see where the up is. So this is the, the kind of the, the front of the device. And uh, we're gonna add the, the, the garden and with the fans, you need to make sure that the logo is all on in the same direction uh, and with the logo outwards. So if, if it's looking like this, then you've done something wrong. So yeah, we're gonna add. Just align up the holes as you can. And this is quite nice because it's magnetic, so it just holds into place, which is quite useful. I think in the instructions, it, it mentions not over, you know, over screwing, which I think making sure that they're aligned. Easy to just screw too hard. So make sure to use a manual Phillips screwdriver. Uh, but then we're good. As you can then see, all three fans are fully fitted. And then you'll be connecting them up in a daisy chain. So each of the, if 
fans comes with a cable. You can then connect that together so that all of them are connected. So I'm just gonna... Okay, perfect. So once you've fitted your fans and your fan guard, like building a PC, you will want to organize your cables. So you wanna make sure that no cables are kind of hanging out that could just get pulled into the fans and cause it to, to break. Uh, they provide you with a lot of really good cable ties. So just spend a little bit of time just making sure that the cables run to the up section. Um, and then at this point, you can actually test the, the, the fans are running in the right direction that you want just by plugging it in. And at this stage, uh, they recommend, obviously, for children, maybe you need some adult supervision at this point. I'm just gonna quickly test. And voila, they're running nice and quiet, which is good to see. So once you've done that side, you'll do the same thing again on the other. Again, with the cables, making sure that they're organized, they're not gonna get pulled in and, and pulled, um, you know, cause conflict. Uh, and again, they're gonna go up to, yeah, the, we can test this as well. Let's just have a quick look. So there we go. So those pieces are done, and then we're gonna move on to the next section. So now we're gonna be adding the front to the base of the device. Now you're gonna be using these screws. Uh, they look very similar to the screws that, again, you use in a, a PC build on the case. Now, obviously, with the, this has it on the up, so you want to make sure you're using the bottom, and then you're going to just... And the screw holes, just align them. So now the, the front is attached to the base, and then we're going to do the same thing for, for the back. So. Here's the back section with the, with the power. And again, look, you'll have the up section. Make sure that that's on the opposite direction and make sure the cable is free. And just align these holes like we did with the front. And just making sure that the, this is inside the, the case. So. But I'll be honest, it, at first when I saw it, when I opened up the box, I thought it was going to be really difficult. But after looking at the instructions and just, it's, it's, fairly, it's fairly simple. And also it's designed in such a way that if, if you do it wrong, it's, it's obvious, like an Ikea type setup. So. so now we have the front and the back attached to the base. And you can already see now it's starting to look like a, you know, a decent high-end PC case. So now we're gonna be putting the final pieces together. So I've already added the, the back filter. Um, so you need to attach the metal to the filter. They mentioned that you can use a hairdryer. We don't have a hairdryer, so we've decided to use tape just to make it easier, especially running tape at the bottom so it doesn't kind of get stuck on anything. It's gonna be easier for this video. Um, and you need to make sure that the airflow uh, is showing directionally going inside the box. So let's show you. We also noticed that when we initially put it together, we had some wires in this area. You need to make sure that is completely clear because that's where the filter is going to slide in. And if there's anything in the way, it's not going to slide in. Five minutes later. So let's uh, align that up and, and just make sure when it gets to the bottom that everything goes through. Perfect. So it's a tight fit, but I think that that's designed in there to reduce any uh, possibility of air escaping. And now we have both filters in place. We're ready to plug it in, plug it into the, they're already connected up. Plug this into the main um, power supply that runs out the back. And then we'll have the cases here. So firstly, we'll need to connect this cable through here. It might be easier to do this before you add the filters, but we like to do our own way. 
and then connect this final cable to here. This means they're all going to be daisy chained together. Covers anything being attached. So there we go. We have the the top on, and now we're ready to screw them in. So. Hopefully we've done our job right and this is going to start running, but you can, we will find out when we plug it in. And then this is quite nice, it's like a, a handles to easily use it and it's a fairly light device to be fair. Um, so I'm going to just turn it around so the power is on this side and fingers crossed we've done our job correctly. But we'll find, there's optional options to have some switches. We didn't get any of that, but I think it would be kind of quite useful if you want to have more control. Uh, but let's just see. So we just had to add a quick stop to make a few minor adjustments because some of the cables were touching uh, the fans. We found that actually using some tape at the top helped to just secure it in, uh, but you know, feel free to you know, try different ways. But I think just spending that time uh, making sure that the cables are not in the gaps or in, in, any, in any way is definitely worth doing. Don't make our mistake of trying to rush through it. Now, finally, we're gonna be switch it on and see how it sounds. Um, so quiet, which is really nice to hear, but it works. It's pulling in the air through the fans. Uh, pushing the air out through the fans. Yeah, it's pushing the air out and out from here and then pulling it through the filter. So um, if you liked our tutorial, putting it together, then be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be putting this device through the same test. We do all our air purifiers, looking at how well it removes particles, how much energy it uses and how quiet it is. So I'm really excited about that. So keep an eye out for that video.